You have got what appears to be a dynamite sound. That's right. 24 to 7 hits. My God, it's the future. This program contains adult content. Parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen. The moment you've all been waiting for. That's what I call entertainment. It's DJ Suave Smooth. So there could be some side effects. You know how we do it, man. Every Tuesday night, Denise, are you excited to talk to O'Aaron this week? Yeah, I'm excited. It's a little weird, you know? It got a little weird. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess he was apologizing to the interns again. Greg was really happy. He said, at least he apologized to us. But he, you know what Greg told him? What? Save it for the radio. Wow. Yeah, so He's Greg so was... Mad. Li- yeah, Greg's a little bit salty still. He's got he's got his butt hurts just a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have O Aaron on. But you know, I gotta introduce O Aaron here with the song we used to play when O Aaron used to get on the line. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Uh oh, we got O Aaron on the line. Aaron, are you there, buddy? Yeah, this is O Aaron, your celebrity. I'm I'm so happy to talk to you this week. I didn't know if we were actually going to talk this week, to be honest with you, Aaron. Uh, they had meetings about you. They were everybody was talking about you, man. It was crazy. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, me and my wife, um, um, we're talking to each other in a sec. Kelly, when I'm on the phone, they're not interrupting. Don't say a word. Whatever it goes, it goes. We don't mind her saying something, but she, we want her to be you to invite her on the radio. You know what I yeah. mean? And ask her opinion because we can't do that. That's not professional. You can't scream on the radio at people. I mean, it for some of our listeners, they were quite thrilled with the screaming. They actually were entertained by it. So to each his own, right? Yeah. Well, Aaron, um, you had something you wanted to say to the interns, I believe. Um, I would like to uh, apologize to Twenty Four Seventy Hits how we um reacted um from last week, and um, uh, me, me and my wife talked it over, saying this, this how bad we did, and and we're we're just not even gonna. She's not even going to push it no more. She's just going to start listening. Okay, good, good, good. It's just much easier. and That's great that you guys actually worked that out because I heard that your anniversary is coming up. Yeah, um, tomorrow, eight years. Eight We've years? Been married. Wow. With all that screaming, you could tell you guys have been married for a long time, right, Denise? Right. You could kind of tell, you know, it, it, it just, you know, after when you're together so long, you know what I mean? That stuff happens. But that's good, you guys, working out the stuff and uh, talking about it. So we got a couple calls. Did you hear Tony called? This guy, Tony? Yeah, I heard. And also, Josh, I want to make you proud. Um, in Decatur, we finished third place in uh, state tournament for softball. And you were represented 24. Olympics. Were you t- you were represented twenty four seven hits hard, weren't you? You're our um, only you're our only athlete we sponsor right now. We're gonna have to get yeah. you some twenty four seven hits shirts and stuff to get you to promote this. But you know, the only sad thing is, Aaron, they told us it's all up to the people if you're still on the show. They said let the people decide. And uh, we actually got a text in. I'm, I'm guessing this is your friend O Kelly. She was actually texting in from outside of Aurora, Illinois. She said you always do a good job. That's her opinion. Um, she doesn't care what anybody thinks. That's what she said. So, Aaron, what do you say to Kelly for texting in and supporting you? Kelly Lewick, thank you for texting in uh, um, the show to support um, old Aaron from your celebrity from the 24 Semi Hit. Thank you very much for texting in the show. So that's that's actually awesome. I'm, I'm actually glad that your friends are calling and supporting. We're going to take... Uh, We got a couple voicemails left on our machine here. And uh, there's one, I think they said his name was Rodney. Let's go ahead and get Arian's reaction to this. Um, A guy named Rodney, I believe, um, who is 
has left a voicemail here. Uh, the intern just gave it to me. Here we go. Hello now. This is uh, Rodney from Battle Creek, Michigan. I would like to give my opinion on this whole old Aaron situation. Uh, I believe old Aaron, he's a funny guy. He seemed to be uh, really good on this show, but uh, the minute he got disrespectful to the help and the people putting it together, I believe he was wrong. I believe he didn't really apologize as best as he should. And I also think that uh, you shouldn't just let it go. Uh, you should do something about it and uh, discipline him. I don't know uh, what exactly to do, but uh, I think you should do something. Thank you very much for letting me give my opinion. Okay, I'm sorry, Aaron, if you didn't hear that, but uh, we're going to go ahead and let you know. He said... Basically, we need to do something about it. He says he doesn't know, right? Right. We're going to go ahead and uh, play another one that Aaron now. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear this. We'll go ahead and uh, put it where you can hear, hopefully, a little bit um, of what this caller said. Is it a girl? Okay. Uh, Greg just told me this might be a girl that uh, called in. Um, Aaron, remember, it's a voice message. Uh, don't talk to it, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Hey, it's your girl, Michelle. I'm calling from Chicago, Illinois, and I just want to comment on the whole Aaron thing. I got to say, you was wrong, Aaron. How you going to diss Suave? He put you on. You need to get right, get your mind checked. And your girl, she tripping. How she going to get up all on the phone? She trying to be all on the radio. She ain't even invited shit. So y'all need to get rid of him. I mean, Aaron did say he was sorry and everything, Michelle. So um, we're just going to take that as a vote for no Aaron. Okay, so uh, that's one. Was that the last one was to get rid of them? Right. Okay, so that's two against you. You got Kelly. You got two uh, earlier ones. Did uh, Tony didn't want him, did he? No. Okay, so right now uh, there's more against you right now than there is for you. So we need to get your friends to text in and uh, let us know to keep you around. Uh, what's the number, Denise? 630 332 there was, a, there was another one, Shakir. Shakir called in, I guess, during the mix. Let's go ahead and hear what Shakir has to say. Hello, this is Shakir from Bangladesh. I would like to comment on this uh, recent uh, thing that happened to our friend Aaron. Now, Aaron, he makes me laugh very much, except that one time when he kicked the dog. But other than that, he's a very good guy. I would like to see him on 24-7 for a long time. Uh, but he just needs to be a little bit smaller headed. He has a huge head. He makes uh, think he thinks he's a big celebrity. But you are not near the celebrity that you think you are. So thank you. Don't fire him. Okay. So they don't want him to be fired. Shakir, thank you for uh, leaving that voicemail. You guys can leave a voicemail or actually call in live right now and uh, let us know what you think. Now, thank you, Shakir. Uh, where did he say he was calling from? That was far. That was India? Uh, he didn't. Did he say where yeah, he was calling from? Yeah, he said from? India. He wow. said Bangladesh or something. Did he? Yes. So uh, that's cool. Um, Aaron, you got one supporter there. He said okay. the only thing that wasn't funny is that time that you kicked his dog or you kicked a dog. And he also um, referred to your head a little bit. He said that sometimes you maybe act a little bit Hollywood or you have a big head. He said that too. So maybe about being more humble. That's what he was maybe talking about. Do you think, Denise? Yeah, definitely. I think it has to be it has to do with being humble. I don't know. Um, okay, so we got a uh, Maria. Maria, she's calling from somewhere. Let's see what she, Maria had to say about the whole O Aaron controversy. Hello, this is uh, Maria from Durango, Durango, in Mexico. I just wanted to make a comment in the O Aaron situation. I just wanted to say that him and his wife is a stupid, and I, I like to say you need to find someone new. Give someone else opportunity to be on this show. Well, I love you, Suave. Denise, everybody, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, so uh, that was Maria. Thank you for your opinion. Now, uh, just because they are on the radio doesn't mean we agree with them. That's why we're getting everybody's opinion, so we kind of put it together. Uh, Maria, definitely, I think she's a no, Aaron. Did she, I don't think you got to hear that, but Maria uh, does not like your wife, and she said we need to give somebody else a no, new opportunity. That's another no for you not to be on the show. So, uh, I'm what not saying what, what, I'm just listening. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They're just, they're just left these messages, and... Uh, the answer machine here. You guys could call in too. What's that number one more time, Denise? 630-332-0199. We got one from Tim. Did we do Tim yet? I don't think we have. I don't think we heard from Tim yet. There's a Tim. Let's go ahead and play this voicemail real fast for, uh, oh, Aaron. 
Hi, everybody. This is Tim. I'm the number one O'Aaron fan. I'm also the uh, president and uh, second member of the O'Aaron fan club. I just wanted to say that uh, it would be a big loss for us if we lost O'Aaron on 24-7 hits. Now, I know sometimes he lets things go to his head, but you know what? He's a good guy. I don't know his wife, though. She sounds like a bitch, but we are O'Aaron fans. So please, please, please don't fire him. Thank you. Okay, so that was, uh, what was his name? Tim? Tim? Not Tim Tim, but uh, <laughs> Tim. just one Tim. Um, did you hear any of that, Aaron? Just give me a yes or no. Yeah. So that's pretty good, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what this person had to say. Hello, yes. I would like to uh, give my opinions on this guy, the old Aaron. He is very bad. He make a bad comments about the, the DJ. And he also uh, be very rude with his wife. Now, his wife, if we were in my country, I would slap her and hit her. And I would make her fall down to her face. And uh, then I would uh, make a, like, goat's pee on her. That's just what I would do in my country. But here in the United States, I will say fire him. Please. Thank you. Did he say at the end, please? <laughs> yes. I couldn't understand that. So he basically said that uh, to fire you. And what else? I mean, he the, the goat reference. What was about the goat? He was going to have the goat pee on his he wife. Said, he said... <laughs> He said to you, he said that if he was, if he could, it could, if he was married to her. If he was in his country. Oh, if he was in his country, he would push your wife down on the ground and have a goat pee on her. Which I don't know what kind of country does that. Is, do you got, does anybody know? Mm, I don't know. Is that a cult, like a cultural a thing? I don't know. Or yeah. somewhere. No, I don't Aaron, know. It, uh, what do you think about that? I think that's pretty mean. So we actually got a caller on the line that wants to talk to you right now. We're going to go ahead and put some calls through here. Now, the caller is named Mr. Mackey. Do you know Mr. Mackey? No, I don't. Uh, well, he's making some claims here, and uh, I don't know if it's funny. Go ahead and talk to him. Hello, this is all Aaron from 24 Semi Heads. How are you doing today? Do we have a very serious problem? Okay. I've just come from the men's restroom. Some jokester took a poop in it, okay? <laughs> okay. Somebody went number two in the urinal. Oh, God. Are you sick or what? Excuse me. Can we get back to the issue, please? When you duke in the urinal, it's bad, okay? Okay, why are you, why are you talking to me like this? You got over 300 people that need to use the boys' room. You decide you're going to be a comedian, okay? Pinch one oh. off in the urinal. Leave it laying there for everyone to have to look at. Well, you're one of them, aren't you? You all don't seem to understand how serious this is. Well, I don't want to hear about that on the radio station. Oh, you think it's funny, huh? Okay, okay. You're going to think it's real funny when the police get here. It is is very funny, but I think you're very sick and disgusting. Okay, okay, you think it's funny, but nobody else does. Why are you saying that to me? You aren't the one who had to walk into the boys' bathroom. (laughs) <laughs> okay, after having to wake up early, you know, there's no, no coffee in the teacher's lounge, and then you, you walk into the bathroom just to find a big duke laying there in the urinal. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, you think that's funny, huh? Yeah, that's real funny. Like, it's laughing at you. Well, you're the one that's being so disgusting. You're making me laugh. And maybe, maybe you think it's a victimless crime. Mr. Venezuela, the school janitor, okay, he's oh. the person who has to clean up when some trickster... Drops a duke in the wrong toilet. Mr. Venezuela makes six bucks an hour at best. Okay. He's got three kids at home. He's got a car that barely works. He's got to clean up puke with sawdust. Okay. <laughs> then he walks into the boys' room and sees a big meaty chud staring him in the face. <laughs> You're so disgusting, sir. But when you crapped in that urinal, okay, you might as well have just dropped your pants and later turned right on Mr. Venezuela's head. Okay, you may... I hope you got air freshener, though, because okay. people don't want to hear you, your crap. Dude, there is nothing funny about going up to a nice, clean, unsuspecting urinal, okay, dropping your pants and then turning around, squatting over that urinal, okay, maybe, maybe pulling your butt cheeks apart with your hands, okay, and then laying out a big <laughs> butt dragon for all the world to see. Okay. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> they so gotta walk in that TV. bathroom and see your rancid dick propped up against the back of the urinal like a brown rag doll. <laughs> You're very disgusting. You thought it would be a good idea to pull down your pants, okay? Uh, hover your butt cheeks over the urinal, squeeze out a chocolate hot dog. Okay? Oh, God. Whoever did this unspeakable <laughs> act is still at large. Oh, my God. How would you feel if somebody came into your home, okay, pulled down their pants and laid a big mud monkey right on your mom's face, okay? I'll kick you out of my apartment if I have to. Okay. Yeah. You're Whatever the one. you believe, the fact of the matter is somebody dropped a duke in the school urinal, and there's still no explanation oh, for God. that. Number one, you're so disgusting. Let's see what your mom and dad have to say about your little poops capade. Too bad I keep my toes. Well, okay, we're I, gonna we're gonna cut off this poop skate or whatever you guys oh are having God. here. He's so disgusting, Aaron, man. do you know Mr. Mackey? He seemed to know exactly who you are, and he called here. We told people to call in. Do you know him? What was going on there? No, I don't. No, I don't. Come know on, him. man. He's did just, you did you do number two in the urinal? No. Are you sure? No. At maybe at the, uh, at the, one of those rec centers, or it sounded like he was from a school or something. School? I I don't play at school. Okay, so I don't know what was going on there. That was crazy. You didn't do it at the Special Olympics thing, did you? No. What was that word he said? Can you bring that back? What he said? He said you guys were you were on a poopscapade. Poopscapade. What the heck is? Man. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I'd Whatever ask. he said. Whatever he said. I know. We got another person here on the phone anyway. I, it was hard to understand who they were. Uh, they said Chewy. Chewy from somewhere far, far away, I guess. Uh, Chewy, go ahead and talk to O. Aaron. <laughs> Hi, this is O. Aaron, your celebrity from the podcast. I mean, How you doing? <laughs> oh, is this... How you doing? This is from Star Wars? <laughs> Yeah. Are you going to have a movie? You're having a movie coming out um in three months. Yeah. You know who I am? I'm I'm a Yeah. On the space? Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you for calling. Do you understand anything he was saying to you? No, by, by I think he just um Denise, you speak Wookie? Thank you for I do not. um supporting the the twenty four seven hits dot com. Okay, uh go ahead and say something to O Aaron before we uh let you go, Chewy. <laughs> Bye Chewy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to let him go. have a great go. night, Chewy. Wow, that was a great conversation you guys had there. I don't know what you guys said or what that was about, but it was pretty cool. Shout out to the Star Wars fans out there, I guess. Yeah, because my, my, wait, wait, we're wait, having wait. that in three more months. So that you think that was, was that really Chewbacca? I've, I've never talked to a Wookiee before. But you know what? We got another person on the phone as a girl. Go ahead and uh, talk to Baybet. Baybet is on the line. Hello, listener. Hey, this is old Aaron, your celebrity from the 24 Semi Hits. How you doing today? I'm so very hungry. Uh, My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. Um, are you 18 years old to listen? Yes. Um, all right, I just want to make sure this, this show is Petro Advisory. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood um, killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. Um, I don't. What, what I could do for what I could do for you, but you're too young. Help me! Like help you're me! Too young to listen. In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, three hundred years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Oh, okay. What, I'm older I, than you. A lot older. Well, I just want to make sure. <laughs> Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Um, I don't think you're... I don't think you're too young for this radio show, I think. In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. 
Um, if you're a little girl, you shouldn't be on this radio show. This is potential no! advisory. Not my problem. Well, it is. Well, I'm not taking no. Re- I'm not taking no responsibility for you and your parents. It's well, been I'm quite a boom, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. All right, if you want to talk to me, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get in fire anymore. How and adorable! Until next time, brother. <laughs> well, what else do you want? To Aaron, talk you know what? About? I think we should cut it off. Um, I don't know if I believe I don't, her I, story. I don't, I, I don't know I don't if that's a... Um, I don't think she's 18 years old to listen. Well, do you believe she's really a vampire? She said she was 300 years old. But she was bitten when she was 10, so she's forever a vampire. And she stays well, 10. So should we believe her? Do you think she is? She said she was older than you. I don't... I don't... I don't think so, um, DJ Swallow's move. I think she's too young because you remember I, remember I got caught um, yeah. talking to a little... We, boys and girls. Yeah, we don't want that to happen again. That's why I cut it off. I just don't believe her story. I, I was going to let her out. You never know. Sometimes uh, there are little people. And this next one, um, I think the guy sounds pretty old. I just heard him. Uh, this was the guy that was on hold from earlier. Okay, well, well this guy's been holding for a long time. Call her, talk to O. Aaron. <laughs> um, this is O. Aaron from your celebrity from the 24 Semi Hits. Can I help you? Don't make me laugh. Okay, where's your name today? I am Shao Kahn. Okay. You suck. What do you mean I suck? I rule this world. Um, what, what, why do you say I am, I, I, I suck? What, um, can you tell me about it? You are nothing. Okay. You will never win. Okay. You weak, pathetic fool. No, I'm never weak. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Again? <laughs> You're making me laugh. Feel the power of Shao Kahn. Prepare to die. Does that mean you're going to give me some power? You will die, mortal. Um, I don't think so. That was pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your best? Oh, you're making me, you're making me crack off. It's official. You suck. I suck? Okay. <laughs> Why I suck for? <laughs> Is that your best? You will never win. Bow to me. Oh, I will win. My, I have my old Aaron fans. Um, um, <laughs> on the wall, man. <laughs> I am going to fight to stay I on the win. radio show. I'm never, ever going to play get fired. You're still trying to win? You suck. I, I don't suck on, <laughs> I don't suck on the 24 Summit Hits. You suck. Finish him. Oh, boy. Um, DJ Swami Swoop will never get rid of me. <laughs> It'd be too hard. <laughs> Okay, Shao, we gotta let you go, man. We're gonna go ahead and end your Mortal Kombat over here. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. This you know that guy? Was weird. Do you know that guy? No, I don't. You just you, like you don't uh, compete in Mortal Kombat, do like, you? Yeah, it looks like he's on inside a video game or something. It did sound kind of video game ish. I don't know. It, it is. Mr. Khan, we got to... I thank you, Mr. Khan, for calling in, but please don't threaten Aaron with fatalities, okay? Thank you. We're going to go just, ahead. We got one more guy who... I'm kind of confused about this. Uh, Aaron, you know anything about computers? Um, I will be. You remember I have a Apple Mac computer at home. Okay, well, I... Well, it I guess, looks like yours. I don't know. This guy is on the phone here. He, I'm kind of confused. I'm just going to let you talk to him, okay? So here, you okay. guys just see if you can help him. I don't know. Um, his name is Rick. Okay, this is Rick here. Hello? Hi, this is old Aaron. You're so every fun the 24 semi heads. How you doing, Rick? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Uh, yeah, I'm you having a problem. Co- you have computer problems, I heard? Yeah, I'm having a problem. Um, My mom's laptop won't turn off. Um, it won't 
turn off or he won't turn on. Cannot turn it off. Try to turn off the power, everything, it won't turn off. I'm gonna hit, uh, there's a button on the computer and, um, on the top part. You just hold it down. The fucking thing will not it shut off. You understand that? Well, I'm not there to look at it. Um, keep acting like a goddamn computer and keep asking me for these stupid questions when all I need to know is how do you shut this thing down? Well, calm down, sir. I'm here to help you, but you're yelling at me. It says Windows is shutting down. Okay, um, uh, you want to shut down the computer or you want it on? It's been saying that since last night. Now, how come it won't shut down? How come I can't shut it down? Um, well, if it don't shut down, um, pull the power plug. What do I gotta do? Rip the damn battery out of the back of it? Um, yeah. I'm getting very upset about this. You know, I've spent about an hour trying to talk to you people on this freaking automated crap you got, and that's what's got me all fucking upset like this, all right? Well, if you want to talk to me like that, I can't help you, sir. I I'm guess, getting very um, upset about this. Well, if you want to talk to me like that, um, well, I'll talk to somebody else in your own problem. Your, your automated crap sucks, all right? Okay, well, I offer it, sir. And I think you suck, all right? Well, while you're talking to me nasty, I guess I can't help you if you're going to talk to me that. Well, what do I got to do? Will you please tell me? Well, I can't help you, sir. You know, you're upsetting the fuck out of me. Oh, okay. All I need to know is how do you turn this goddamn thing off? Well, I told you to pull the plug out. You know, you are not, not very freaking helpful. You know that? You're fucking well, asshole. Sir, I'm not, I'm not there to help you. I'm, I'm talking to you what to do and you're being mommy. God damn you. Okay, you know what? You're, we tried to help you, sir, and uh, you just like totally were rude to old Aaron here. We can't put up with this, so we're going to go ahead and hang up on you, and uh, we're going to let you go. So um, we I don't know how his phone got re rerouted here or what the interns did, but I guess the guy was on hold for a while, wasn't he? That's yeah, what he, he said. was being nasty and rude to me. I told him to calm down and that. You tried, tried your best, him, man. You tried to calm him down, but uh, you know sometimes these guys are just assholes, wanna, man. Um, He's an asshole. Don't worry about it, Aaron. I mean, I think you did a good job, man. I think you did a good job uh, taking the calls. I don't know if anybody will be able to replace O. Aaron. Did you? I think you did a good job today, don't you? Yeah. Of I'm, I'm taking it um, very seriously. Go Well, Aaron, we appreciate you being on the show, man. We're going to tally up all this stuff. Um, it looks pretty good for him right now. It's it, it's pretty close. The, the interns over there, why are they so mad? Denise, why are the interns mad over there? The, I'm, I'm looking over here at the interns. They look pissed as hell. What's going on over there? They don't want Aaron to have his job back. They don't want to get him to get off so easy. Aaron, um, do you have anything you want to say real fast? You got to make it fast uh, before we let yeah, you go. I, I like to get, I like to give a shout out to everyone who listened today. And I hope I don't get fired for for 24 some hits because I love DJ Toy Smooth and I like Denise so much in my heart and and I like all the people who listen to me, my clip and everything and and I'll and I'll still make videos for you guys to listen to cheer you guys up and that and hopefully uh, hopefully I could still um, take calls in and um, hope I get a lot of listeners to listen to me. I okay, Aaron, that was real fast. <laughs> that was real quick. I'm sorry, Aaron. I got to cut you off because we're running out yeah. of time here. Uh, but Aaron, thank you for being on the show, man. We'll talk about Dude, it next week. Night. You too, buddy. We're going to go ahead and get back in the live mix with me, Mr. DJ Suave Smooth. Denise, uh, what did you think about that? Um, do you think he was sincere in his apology to you? Um, I hope he was. <laughs> I think he, he was. He seemed very, very sincere this week. But uh, you guys can hear how he was last week. That's going to be up tomorrow. Check it out at 247hits.com and djsuavesmooth.com. I'm going to go ahead and get back in the live mix for the last uh, half an hour here. We're also going to be uh, shouting you out if you want. Maybe even uh, 
hearing from you. What's the number, Denise? 630-332-0199. You guys can call or text. Let us know what you thought about O. Aaron's apology. Keep them on fire. What's going to happen? Find out next week right here on 24-7 Hits Parental Advisory. (laughs) 